music. What up guys, it's your girl Tosh in my robe. In my head, if you want to see me dressed up, go to my Instagram. I'm in my robe today because I'm going to tell you guys a story time. I've been trying to film in between people not being home. So right now, I'm at my parents' house, so there's a lot of people in and out. Um, my sister just left for college, so that won't be an issue. And because she left for college, I thought I would tell um a college story time and i was either gonna tell about the time i had a roach in my bed or the time that i had a mouse in my bed but i'm gonna and yes i've had both which was terrible not obvious not at my parents house my parents not at my parents house but in my college dorm i had a roach and a mouse in my bed and i'm gonna tell you guys about the roach one and not so much about the mouse one yet just because i'm really thinking about doing a lawsuit like i'm really thinking just because there was so much that happened and i don't know if i can still do the lawsuit and also put out the video like i think it's best that i shouldn't so until i figure out what's gonna happen with that situation because i have been like discussing back and forth for a while and like trying to get a lawsuit together i'm like maybe i'm not gonna do that but i am gonna talk about the roach being in my bed and the lead up of the dorm room from hell basically we're gonna set the stage for my senior year of college i have been in the same dorm room for all four years that i've lived at pratt so the only time that i've ever switched dorm rooms was at the end of my freshman year which i'll do that story time um and every summer that i've lived in new york i've like switched buildings but every school year like while i'm taking classes i'm in the same dorm room i mean the same dorm building not the same dorm room i've never lived on floor one and i never lived on floor five or six so um what ended up happening my junior year is that i retained my room for the following year so my junior year i finally got a single in elj the rooms are so big that's what i love it looks very apartment like apartment -y. the cons about the dorm hall is that there's no air conditioning so during the summertime it's so hot but in the winter time the heat well at least for like the first three years that i lived in was amazing like the heat was just so good the only thing that we don't have also in that dorm hall is a kitchen like we have a communal kitchen that like everyone can use but we don't have like kitchens in our room um versus all the other dorms on campus that aren't freshman dorms but my room was huge i had two closets and we had our own bathroom so i even though i lived in a single there was another single attached to my room so if you walk like the way my room is set up maybe i'll insert a picture of the layout if i can um but when you walk into my room there's a long hallway and then if you go to the left it's my room and if you stay straight it's my roommate's room and then if you walk through either of our rooms there's another door on both of our rooms that leads to another hallway that goes to the bathroom a little confusing all important for the story i hope my lips aren't chat like they don't feel chat but because i'm talking oh yeah and with this dorm room another thing about living in new york and living at pratt is that the roaches are everywhere they're big they're huge they're scary personally my one fear my biggest fear in this lifetime probably is bugs and not per se rodents but just like bugs like anything with a shell like just freaks me out like i've never killed a roach in my like i've killed a roach with the spray but i've never like stomped on one and all the other things and while living in elj the thing that i like so much about it and why i stayed so long is because out of all my time in li living in elj up until the point where the roach was in my bed i've only seen i've only had a roach in my room one time and on campus if you live in willoughby roaches are in your room all the time so i was like i'm not moving over there and then having that issue because i just can't like mentally i can't do it for some reason this year we had so my senior year we had three roaches and the mouse thing was just 
out of control like the mouse thing was worse than the roach thing because there were so many of them we didn't know where they were coming from they were getting into everything and it just got to the point where we were so on edge and we had so much anxiety one because the mouse thing didn't really pop off until the roach thing calmed down so like and i'm gonna get back to the roach thing but i kind of just have to explain everything so you can get it but we have back-to-back -back roaches and then all of a sudden the roaches stopped and then we have back-to-back -back mouse issues and now thinking back i know mice eat roaches so that's probably what was going on is that there was just so many mice in our space that um they were eating the roaches and the people watching this that don't live in New York or don't go to Pratt, you may think like, oh my gosh, your room must have been so dirty, like, OMG, like, how are you guys living? But that wasn't the case. Um, we had no, like, there was a point, once we found out that we thought there was one mouse we took and the roach problem and everything, we took all the food out of our room, like, there was nothing like there was no clutter a lot of my friends have been to my room like i'm a very messy person that's just me but i'm messy as like clothes everywhere messy not trash if that makes any sense like if you come into my room you're gonna see piles of clothes in a chair over here piles of clothes over here i may have all this stuff on my desk but there was never like any food out and things like that to attract these rodents so just keep that in mind the issue was with the building that i found out later on on this day and i'm trying to stay on track but it's just like this was the worst year living wise like i loved my roommate that was probably the best roommate i've ever had like that was like one of the best experiences that i have had but i the living and like having all these rodents in and out and never feeling comfortable was the worst that i've had since moving to new york in general this day it was kind of in the beginning of the year because i was still dating the person that i was dating in the summertime so i know that it had to be fairly early on because we broke up in like october i remember he was there because i was texting him that day and i had saw him that day so it was a friday or a saturday it could have been a friday though because i didn't have class on friday both me and my roommate didn't have class on friday and she was also in the room when this happened so it, this, this doesn't really matter it's just some point on the weekend where we didn't have school the next day and we didn't have school that day that's what it was so i was i had painting class and we had to do this painting i'll insert the picture we had to do a painting of a dream that we had a dream that was really significant um to me whole different story whole different time so i was working on this painting and i'm listening to um i listen to like lo-fi beats and like instrumental sometimes when i'm painting the painting that i wanted to do i wanted to really i was in a class where this is why the story's gonna take forever. I was in a class where I was the only non-painting major. So I wanted to really show them like, even though I'm not a painting major, I'm a fashion major, I can paint. Like, I make money off of painting, that's my job. Like, I've been painting for over 10 years. Like, I can paint, not oil, only acrylic. <laughs> and not watercolor, <laughs> only acrylic. But um, I just remember sitting down and it was really important for me to get this done, but I kept getting distracted and the hallway light is on. So I'm sitting at my desk and my desk is right next to the door. So I keep getting distracted. I'm like texting my boyfriend, like leaning back in my chair, like, oh yeah, I'm trying to do this painting, blah, blah, blah. Mind you, again, my desk is right here. The My desk is right here. My door is like right here. Like my desk faced the door, was next to the door. My door was open and I saw something fly in the hallway. So I'm like, okay, this must be like, I didn't, like I knew it was a bug, but I didn't think that it would have been a roach. Like, I thought it was a fly or, I don't know. In my head, I was like, oh, I don't want to deal with this, but I'm going to close my door. Like, it's not that serious for me to go knock on Devin, because Devin was on the phone too. So I was like, this is not that serious for me to go knock on Devin's door, because it's probably like a fly or something like that. But I'm going to close my door because I want to trap it in the hallway. I don't want to think about it. I didn't think about 
what was going to happen next. So I close my door, I'm chilling, so texting my boo, like, OMG, so sad you left, because now I have to do work, blah, blah, blah. And so next thing I know, I'm like, oh yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, so I'm texting her or whatever, and then I'm like, you know what? I've done enough of this painting because I had sketched the face out again. Like, I've inserted the photo, but I'll insert it again. I sketched the face out, and I was like, that's enough for today. Like, I'm tired. I'm about to go get in my bed. Maybe I could work on something in my bed because I also had a writing class. So I was like, I'm going to write in my journal and sit on my bed. So you know me, like, earlier in the story today, I said that I am messy. So I start moving stuff off my bed and there's a Dorito bag on my bed. Now, even though I said I wasn't messy and there wasn't food around, this Dorito bag was like completely empty. There was no chips in the bag. Like I had just finished it. I was going to throw it away. Like that's, that's with me cleaning it up. Like it hadn't been on my bed for that long. And I'm not the type to leave wrappers out. So I don't even know why I left this on my bed in the first place. But I think... I don't know if my boyfriend even left it there. I feel like he left it there. But usually he would take trash out like when he left my room. So I'm not really sure how it got there, why it was there. But I just remember I was about to take it off my bed and throw it away. As I grab the Dorito bag, I feel like something in the bag. And I'm like, okay, I must have left chips in there or so-and-so not gonna say his name so-and-so must have left something in here like whatever and i'm like the chips are about to fall out the bag because even though i was holding the bag like this i felt it tipping because whatever was in it was like coming out of the bag so i was like okay chips are about to fall out the bag I just got the chills because like thinking back to this really just stresses me out which is also why I have my robe on because I just uh as I lifted the bag up I see the roach crawl out and crawl on my bed on my comforter I lost my I lost my mind I completely lost my mind I screamed as if someone had stabbed me in the chest and I immediately just started like breathing heavily, crying, like like somebody literally had just immediately Devin like comes out of her room and she's like, Natasha, blah blah blah. I hear her hang on the phone. She's like, I all I remember hearing her say was, Okay, girl, I gotta go. <laughs> and she comes in, she's like, What, what? I'm like, there's a roach on my bed. Obviously I didn't say it like that. I'm pretty sure I was cursing, I was screaming, I was just like inconsolable. And I knew that the roach was on my bed, yes, but I knew that it wasn't going to stay on my bed. Like, I knew it was going to crawl somewhere else, and that was my fear. And so I'm trying to explain to her where it is, and she, like, I'm in her room now at this point. Like, I left my room, my door's open, but we try to go back together, me and Devin. Devin, if you're watching this story, you remember this terrible night. Me and Devin go back into my room and we're sitting down. No, no, no. We would never. We would never. We're not sitting down. We go in there. We're scared. I'm behind Devin. Devin's going first. She's like, Natasha, Natasha, I need you right now. Natasha, I need you right now. I'm just sitting there like, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't right now. She's like, Natasha, I'm going to need you to be here right now. I'm going to need you to be present. Like, she was really. And I was like, but mind you i'm the one who saw the roach i'm the one who saw it on my bed i'm the one who practically had it in my hand so that's why i was like freaking out and we couldn't find it at first and then we see it on the wall so we see it on the wall and we're like okay at least we know where it is we go to grab the roach spray we go to spray it this roach starts gliding towards us mind you Dev like when i went into Devin's room she was like natasha you need to tell me like was it big was it this was it that and I was like, I just squinted my eyes and tried not to see it. So I don't really know how big it is, but I'm assuming it's not that big as a roach. When we saw this roach glide towards us, this is one of the biggest roaches I've ever seen in my life. And if you've ever seen a roach, it, roaches don't fly. It's like a glide. It's not really like a bee. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, so when we saw this thing, we both screamed. I started crying again and we just ran out of our room 
we just ran out of our room completely and we was like you know what we need to get our ra because obviously we're not gonna be able to kill it like once it started flying we lost all hope that anything was gonna happen so in my head all i could think about is the after effects but we finally get our ra to come in the room because we sprayed so much like we sprayed the edges of my door, the edges of her door, because even though we were, like, running away, we were, like, spraying, or Devin was, like, spraying. So once once the RA came back, the roach was, like, in front of my door on its back, and it was still alive, but it was kind of dying, and she just, like, stepped on it and, like, took it away. And after that, we were just like, I can't be in this room. Like, I need to go somewhere. I need to go somewhere right now. So... We left our room and also the fumes at our room was so strong because we sprayed so much roach spray. So we went to the Rose Garden, my favorite place on campus. I've had so many breakdowns. I call my best friend there all the time when stuff isn't going right. And we're sitting in the Rose Garden and I'm just talking to, I'm trying to watch comedy on YouTube. I'm talking to Devin like, we can't stay out here all night, but also I need to go and I need to change my sheets. Like I can't sleep in that bed. Like the roach has been in that bed. Like... I don't know how I'm gonna even touch my bed to get my sheets off. I texted my boyfriend. I was like, yo, you won't believe what just happened, but this and that just happened, and I feel like I'm not gonna be able to get sleep tonight, and blah, blah, blah. Mind you, my boyfriend used to live at least an hour and a half to two hours away from me. He was such a great guy. He was such a great person. But um, he lived in a part of New York that was far, and I lived in Brooklyn. And so to get there by train, like if you drove it, it'd probably be an hour, but to get there by train, it was two hours. So he texts me like, I'm taking an Uber, I'm coming back, like, and I'm sitting there, I was so spoiled, guys. It was ridiculous, like, honestly. That was like, hands down, probably the best person I've ever dated i'll say that for now that's the best person i've ever dated for now because he would like he really cared about me and oh uh, i still need to do a story time about that but he was like i'm coming right now like i'm already in an uber do you want me to bring you food y'all why does and at this point it's late like it's like this happened around like eight or nine when he said he was coming over it was like 10 or 11 he got there at like he got there at like 11 30 close to 12 maybe even 12 30 but he got there so fast and i t like like i said in the beginning of the story he had just left like he had just left me to go back home because he had to go to work but it didn't really matter because his job was closer to me than it was to him because he worked in Manhattan and where he lived was like super far. So he didn't mind coming back, but he was like, I got to work the next day. So he came back and he bought me food. He changed my sheets. Like, I don't know what I would have done. Honestly, I probably would have done what I did when the mouse was in my bed because when the mouse was in my bed me and him were dating and honestly that whole time that whole day i was just thinking about him and i was like oh my gosh like so and so if so and so is here this would be so much easier blah 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 because like i wouldn't have been able to sleep that night i don't know what i would have done like you gonna buy me food and change my sheets and a lot of you are thinking like, how did you mess this up? Trust me, I'm gonna tell you, but not today. So yeah, that was the time that the roach was in my bed. Hope you enjoyed this story time. Worst time of my life. Wasn't the last time, that was the first time we saw a roach in our room. Wasn't the last time, but we'll talk about that in another video. Comment down below if you've had anything like this happen to you. If you live in New York, you've had to like, New York is the dirtiest place I've ever lived in my whole entire life, but I love that city. <laughs> love, peace, and hair grease. I will see you guys in my next video.